In this video, we will show you how to automatically generate documents such as offers, contracts, or invoices. We will set up an automation that takes data already entered into your CRM system, project management system, or other databases, then automatically insert this data into a document template. In practice, it works like this. Here, when you change the status of your deal to the offer stage in the CRM, the completed offer will automatically appear as a file attached to that deal. Now, if you get inside this deal tree, you can see this attachment is created. To build our automation, we will use make.com, which is a tool for automating tasks between different apps. If you haven't tried make.com yet, you can use the link in the description of this video to create a free make.com account. We would greatly appreciate it if you used this link as it can provide us with a commission if you later decide to upgrade to a paid plan at no additional cost to you. Okay, so now let's proceed to set up the automation that generates documents. Inside my Google Drive, I have the offer template from which the offer will be created. This template has some variables like service name, company, and price. This variable will be replaced with the values that are coming from the ClickUp. When it comes to ClickUp, here is our deals list. As you can see, we have our example deals here, and each deal has its own information regarding properties, such as priority, related company, service type, price, and status. This ClickUp list will serve as an example CRM in this video, but you can use a different software for storing the data and still set up an automation. You will just need to adjust some elements of the automation based on the software you use to store the data. Now to create the automation, move to make.com and create a scenario called Generate Offer. Now click on the plus icon and create a module as we'll be establishing connection with the ClickUp. So we'll need this ClickUp module. So select ClickUp. We need to watch our tasks. So for that, we'll select this module that is Watch Tasks. It triggers when a specific task or subtask event happens. Click on this. Now it's asking for creating a webhook. Click on that. And here you need to establish connection with your ClickUp account. And then here enter the workspace name. And then the way you want to filter. I want to filter by list. So choose list. And then the space name. Our space name was CRM. And the list that I created. In our case, the list name was deals and there were four tasks. So choose this. And now the event type, what sorts of event you want to run. It should be task status updated because the automation will be triggered when the task status will be changed. So save this. Now click on OK. So this module will be activated each time the status of a task is changed in the ClickUp space. Now we need to add another module and this is also ClickUp module. Now this module should be get a task and it retrieves details about specific task or subtask. So click on get a task. And this module is needed because we need the data from the task in which a status change has been detected. But first run the scenario once to check if it receives any data. Go to the bills section and change the status of deal one from lead to offer. And now come back to make automation. And here you can see we have received some data here. A bundle popped up just on top of ClickUp. If I click on that here, you can see. So we haven't yet confirmed the task ID. So we'll do that. But before that, we need to set up a filter here. We need to set the condition based on which the data will pass through. You can name it as status offer. And the condition will be based on the status change. So you can get inside this history. And here you'll find this after option. So after the status change, Click on status. Now you can see that after status appear and when the status is changed to offer, then this data will pass through. That means we don't intend to activate the scenario every time a task status changes, but only when the status changes to offer. The filter is designed to only allow data through when the status after its change is offer. Okay, so now here we can map and we can map the task ID. So in here, if I hover over this task ID, then you can see this ClickUp Watch Tasks module is pulsating. That means the data is coming from this ClickUp Watch Tasks module. So I can choose this task ID and then click on OK. 
Now, if I run the scenario once and move back to ClickUp.com, and here if I change the status of deal to from lead to offer, then what happens if I come back to make.com and here you can see data passed through this filter and on top of the ClickUp get a task module, I can see one bundle. And if I click on that, here you can see we have received a bunch of information. In the description of this video, you can find a link to our free Automations Essentials Kit, which contains a list of tools for building automations and a list of educational resources from which you can learn more about automations. So you can grab your free copy today. Just go to the link in the description of this video. Now we need to create a document from template. I mean from our offer template. So for that, add another module, search for docs and choose Google Docs and select create a document from template. And what it does, it creates a copy of an existing template document and replaces any text. I mean, replaces any variable. So select this. Now select the document ID. It is inside this folder and I'm selecting the offer template. And here you can see it is asking for the values that you want to map. I mean service name, company, price. And if you get inside this offer template, the things in the document inside the curly braces are variables. In the places of these variables, specific data will be entered. To create a variable in Google Docs, you only need to write curly braces. It should be double curly braces. Enter a variable name and end it with double curly braces. You can map which data should be entered in place of which variable. And for that, move to make.com. To map the service name, click on here. And here you can see the custom fields and the information is coming from the get a task module. Click on the service name, it will map the service name and then come here and map the company from the custom fields and then the price. Now write a title for the document that will be created. I can write it as offer for the company. To make it dynamic, we can select the custom fields for the company. That means every time the company name will be changed, the title for this document will also be changed. Then where you want to store this information, I want to store it in my drive and the location. I want to store this inside this documents folder. Now click on OK. Now a document will be created from a template and we need to download this document in a PDF format. So for that, add another module, move to Google Docs. Here select this download a document option, map the document ID. And when we are hovering over this document ID, you can see this Google Docs module is pulsating. That means the data is coming from the Google Docs module. So select this. And here you need to select the output document type. And I want it as PDF document. So select it and click on OK. And the document will be downloaded as a PDF format. Since we are creating a PDF format, so we don't need to keep this doc file inside our documents folder. So we need to remove the docs that will be created from the template. So for that, add another module, Google Docs. We'll be choosing this delete add document option. Again, here you need to map the document ID and the document ID should be this one. So select this and click on OK. Don't be confused here, we are deleting the Google Docs document created from the template, not the PDF document. Now we need to upload this PDF document in the ClickUp. So for that, add another module. Go to ClickUp, choose Upload Task Attachment. It adds attachment to a task. Select the task ID, go down, and here you'll find the task ID. And you can see that whenever you are hovering over this, this Watch Task module is pulsating. So choose this task ID. And here you can choose the file. We want to get the PDF document from the Download Add Document module. So I'm choosing this Google Docs Download Add Document module. Click on OK. Now our automation is ready. Now move to ClickUp and change the status of deal one to lead. I want to see if the automation works if I change the status from lead to offer. So come back here and run the scenario once and wait for new data. Now move to ClickUp and change the status from lead to offer. Come back to make automation. 
And here you can see the process is completed and one bubble popped up on each of the module. That means the data passed through all the modules. Now come back to ClickUp, get inside deal one. And here you can see the status is changed to offer and an attachment is created that is offer for that is offer for company A. And if I get inside this, and you can see SEO service offer for company A. So at example company, we are excited to offer company A our SEO service. So the variables are replaced with company name and the service. And here you can see the price that is 700 USD. So our automation is working, but, but this will only work when the status is changed to offer. So let's try to change the status to something else and see what happens. Run the scenario again. Now change the deal for from offer to negotiation and come back to make.com. You can see one bubble is appeared on top of the first module. That means watch task module. And this module must be activated each time the status of a task is changed. And that's why we got one bubble. But the data didn't pass through the filter because this status of our filter will allow the data to pass through only when the status changes to offer not anything else. If the status is changed to offer, then the get task a module will get the data from the first module, then it will pass this to a template and then we'll download the document as PDF and delete the document that was created inside the documents folder. And at last we'll upload this PDF document as a ClickUp task attachment. By the way, here we have the option to save our scenario. There is also an option to activate the scenario so it will run automatically. And when you click on schedule settings, you can choose exactly when it will run. In the schedule settings, you can decide whether the scenario should run immediately when the specific event happens or at a specified intervals like once a day. In the case of this automation, you need to activate the scheduling, toggle the scheduling on, and remember to keep the schedule setting run scenario immediately. If you'd like to learn more about automations, you can find a link to our free automations essentials kit in the description of this video. It contains a list of tools you can use to build automations and a list of educational resources from which you can learn more about automations. So you can grab your free copy today. Just go to the link in the description of this video.